Three, two, one. Cooking with Debbie and friends. Cooking with Debbie and friends. We'll make some good food, talk about marriage and parenting too. Self care and budgeting, have some nice and peaceful life, yeah. Cooking with Debbie and friends. <laughs> wow, that was a big I know, I love that big white gesture. Okay, where is your dad? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We hope you're finding... Hi, Tony. I hope you're finding us all on uh, where you usually watch us at noon on Sundays. I know for... Hi, Mike Bilberry. I know for... I'm sorry. <laughs> she gets so excited to see you guys. Okay, let's start over again. The, okay. Hang on. Uh, okay. And there you go. Welcome to Cooking with Debbie and Friends, a cook and chat show filmed right here in my kitchen with my husband, Travis. Every Sunday at 12 noon, we get together and make some really good food, and we stream to Facebook and YouTube, so if you're on one of those channels and you're new, please comment in the comment section because we'd love to chat with you guys. And we stream to these channels so that we can chat with you, and uh, because this is Cooking with Debbie and Friends, and it's all about spending time with our friends. Right, and just so that you know, we are now doing a live podcast with interviews on Tuesdays at 7 p.m., so if you were used to that time slot, Debbie's got some amazing people coming in. Who's coming up this Tuesday? This Tuesday, we have Ian Bagg, a comedian who is very funny. He travels all over the country. He travels internationally. He is hilarious, one of my oldest friends in the business. Yeah, I know I'm going and... to catch flack for this when I say this, but... Ian Bag is my favorite comedian <laughs> on the face of the planet. I say that knowing full well I'm married to one, but he's <laughs> he's the kind of comic that other comedians and spouses of comedians right. go watch yeah. when he's yeah. in town. I remember when he was at the Improv in um, Ontario, and we got in the car to go see him, and we run into Fluffy. Fluffy's sitting there watching him on one of his. Oh rare... yeah, Gabriel Iglesias. <laughs> Went to his show. Yeah. Gabriel wasn't even on the bill. Yeah, so that's what kind of comic he is. He's very funny. And we share a food history because we were Weight Watchers way long ago when Weight Watchers still started their point system. And and so Ian and I would exchange food ideas. But overall, just a great guy. Yeah. And then the week after that, we're December 8th. December 8th, we're so excited to have the Garretts, Brad Garrett and Izzy. His uh, wife is, is an amazing cook. Amazing. She is plant-based, and she is going to talk to us about plant-based cooking and how she got Brad to go from eating uh, meats and meat products and mm -hmm. go into eating. I, I hear he's mostly vegan now. Yeah. So, so every now and then I just send him a photo of me eating a steak or a hamburger or something just to say, hey, buddy. <laughs> So That's Brad right. Garrett and his uh, wife Izzy will be on the show. On Those are Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Okay? So upcoming Tuesday is going to be Ian Bag. That's the first on the eighth. We're going to have Brad Garrett and his lovely wife um, Izzy Garrett. And if you'd like to see what she's doing, she's at uh, Fake Blonde Real Life on Instagram. So follow that Instagram. Yeah, account. not all her recipes are vegan and vegetarian. Um, but she does do some great swaps too. And she's looking for recipes for holiday. You know, if you want to lighten up a recipe or make it uh, with less meat or no meat, let her know. Yeah. Um, at and her... All of her photos are beautiful. Right. Every, every single one of them. Yeah. Let's look and see who's. Sure. Okay, so of course, my dad, you were number one. Yeah. And uh, then Mike Bilbrey. Who we assume Linda's sitting right there with yeah. him. Yeah, hello. And Cindy Castillo. Hi. And she says Cindy hi to your daddy. Hi to my dad. <laughs> um, and Anna Maria and Richard are here. Wait a minute. Richard's saying hi to Rio? Yeah, I think they watch on different platforms. Oh, cool. And sometimes Richard's mother, Martha, joins us, I believe, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, Eva is uh, here. Hi, guys. I know. I love the purple. And uh, Fabian, who was on our show. Scott and Fabian. Scott and Fabian um, were on our Weren't show. Weren't they wonderful? They were fantastic. Okay, if Tuesday. you guys don't remember, if you didn't watch, go to our YouTube channel. I'm going to pop that up there right now. YouTube, uh, forward slash mommy comic. 
and then look on the we've got on Tuesday um, Scott and Fabian were in uh, our great friends uh, Jack and Suzanne were in Scott and Fabian had their house ready for Christmas so though. ready they had they had everything they had all the holidays rolled up into one they had Thanksgiving turkey. Yeah, they, had they had a, a celebration turkey. of their wedding. They had uh, their wedding anniversary. <laughs> they had Christmas. Yeah. They are amazing. And I think what was really cool is that we got to talk to people who live on all three time coasts, all mm -hmm. three time um, time zones. Time zones. So you know, Fabian and Scott live in New York in um, Florida. Florida. I need some coffee. We need more coffee yeah. in here, I think. We'll <laughs> so, get used to this time. <laughs> um, where's a barista? Hey. We have a barista somewhere. Yeah, she's somewhere um, around here. So um, Scott and Fabian live in Florida, and um, Suzanne and Jack live in Texas, and we, of course, live in California. So we were able to talk about how Thanksgiving looks out and about and got some great ideas on creative Thanksgiving, and we got to get the pulse of what's going on across yeah. the country with COVID. That um, episode was titled "Gratitude and How to Thanksgiving in 2020." Mm -hmm. So really, what we wanted to do is talk to people: How are you doing Thanksgiving differently? And we got a really good sense of what's happening out there. Plus, Jack and Suzanne do spend time in Vegas, mm -hmm. which at the time they were saying um, they felt more comfortable in Vegas than they did in parts of Texas, which mm -hmm. is crazy yeah Vegas there's so many people yeah so anyway check out that episode of table talk podcast you can find that on uh, Facebook if you scroll down or on YouTube or on our website too there's some additional stuff there um, yeah, Paula and Robert, Robert. Haley what's up buddy hi and Loretta who says listening to you while on her run in Big Bear hey you might see Monica there I wonder if Monica's up there, my sister. I'm telling you, it's like a it's like a Bishop Balmont reunion. No Thanksgiving leftovers here. Everything was so delicious. Sometimes that happens. You eat everything to the last, you know, of the wishbone. Yep. Hi, Suzanne. Uh, we were just talking about you. Michelle, I made it to the show. We're so glad that you did. Nice hats, too. Oh, for Fabian and Scott? Oh, are they and wearing then, hats? Oh, that's right. And then Suzanne and Jack oh, ran about Jack hats. and Suzanne, yeah. we brought them back yeah. in because they... They did their hats too, and uh, Michelle Tessendorf. Hey, girl. Yeah, and she's. Were you talking to me or Debbie? Cause... She's talking to Loretta. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> See, I told you, like at she's top not of show. Hi to me. Um, Tony said, uh, "Bring your parents some liquid." <laughs> so. Um, yeah, I don't even have water, man. What is? Go going get our on? water, baby. What is going on? I'll stand on? here and entertain the people. Yeah, talk to the people. So they're gonna hear. No, you're gonna do comedy. I'm gonna do a, comedy. A uh, flowers by Fadi's Florist. If you don't have your flowers picked out for Christmas yet, they do a beautiful job. Ask for Jasper. She's the best, and that serves areas of Azusa, Glendora, Laverne, all over LA, West Covina, all over, all over LA. Yeah. Carol Heikinen, a little late, but I'm here for leftovers. I'm so glad that you're here, Carol. You That's never great. late, Carol. So here's something about leftovers. Mm, so Pilar and I were all about the leftovers. Thank you. Scotchy, scotchy. Mm, mm, scotchy, scotchy, scotchy. scotchy. Mm. Okay. Hi, Carol. <laughs> Smooth. Um, here's the thing about leftovers, and I didn't know some things about you until we started doing this cooking show. And one thing is, and I've known him for my whole life, one thing is, Pilar and I and Anna Maria were so excited about leftovers. Yeah. Like, woohoo, what are we going to do with our leftovers? And he was like not weighing in. And I just looked at him and said, do you not like leftovers? And he said, no. Not really. Not really for Thanksgiving. Nope. No turkey sandwich. It's not no. like something I look forward to. I mean, if she makes me a plate, which she has over the years, of course, here's a plate of wonderful Thanksgiving um, the day after or two days after, as you do. I will happily eat it and it tastes great, but it's not something I'm like before Thanksgiving looking forward to like these gals because yeah. sometimes they're actually talking about the leftovers more than they are about the day of Thanksgiving. Yes, yes. Um, Fabian says they're making turkey noodle soup. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. We just didn't oh, have the... We there's just... our barista and she failed us. <laughs> That's okay. We got water. We we um, didn't have refrigerator realty to put in the bones, you know? Yeah. So, oh, are you saying hi? Yeah. Say hi to the people. Hi, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even get a hug. It came in and I was oh, stressed setting up. She's in our bubble so we can safely hug her. Yes. Can and you grab me the flower from the... Ow! 
The flower? Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somebody just wrote ASMR. Who's Johnny Nutshot ASMR? I'm so sorry, this is a family channel. What is this? Johnny Nutshot ASMR. Okay. All right. Um, so anyway. <laughs> Welcome, Johnny. Yeah. Behave he yourself. Said, Welcome, Mr. Nutshot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> says oh yeah um so um anyways i think part of it might have to do with you came from a large family mm -hmm. and there may not have been leftovers or were, like in loretta's house they ate them all yeah there were so a lot of leftover sandwich yeah a lot of people uh hanging out in our house after and also um i was the youngest of four um food didn't last very long in the house yeah i mean you know we, yeah we and I, stretched it out as much as we could yeah. but and I found out something interesting about Thanksgiving leftovers, and that is I always looked forward to a sandwich on a roll, like a big French roll. And on Thanksgiving, I had like uh, half a cup of dressing, half a cup of mashed potatoes. I was really careful with my, I even had a biscuit. And then we went for a walk, and gravy. And then I went for a walk afterwards. And my sugar was perfect after that meal, two hours after that meal. Mm -hmm. So then I had a sandwich on a big white roll and and we went on a walk too yeah. but i didn't have any like sides or anything with that and my sugar went sky high so i'm checking my sugar as i eat different things so mm -hmm. different carbs react differently with me so i realize white bread is not my friend some people can do it I couldn't. So right. we're learning some things. Oh, people are saying hi to you, Pilar. You want to say hi? Yep. Anna Maria, Maria Richard, Richard, Cindy, Cindy. Um, uh, Fabian, Fabian, Paula. Paula. My okay. house, too. Richard Connemacher. He says, also the youngest of four, so we had to eat fast. You ever notice that about Richard when he eats with us? He yeah. eats really fast. And it's because he had all brothers. Why do you call him out like that on national television? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, they can call me out because of you. Because. What Flaming Marshmallow doesn't oh, ring a bell. Oh, I don't even know what you're talking about. This man will try to take my food so much that one time when we were roasting marshmallows <laughs> over the fire, he pretended like he was going to go eat mine, so I stuck the Flaming Marshmallow in my mouth. <laughs> Yeah. He didn't get to have it, but That's I got burns on my tongue. That's how conditioned she was to me stealing her food. Poor yeah, thing. I guess, I guess you've been traumatized a little. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what do you have in your fridge? What do you have in your fridge for leftovers? If you saved your turkey carcass, like, um, like, um, Scott, like Fabian. Scott and Fabian, they're having turkey soup. I believe, uh, Anna Maria, Maria Kahnemacher has, she's going to do soup. She's going to do sandwiches. I don't know if she's going to do a pot pie, but everybody, you know, they're deciding what they're going to do with some leftovers. I made a homemade cranberry sauce and you know people just put a little bit on their plate so I still have like half a jar. It's great on a cashew butter and uh, bread with you treat it like a jelly and mm. just put it on there. It doesn't have a great long shelf life in your fridge maybe a week for your cranberry mm -hmm. so and of course I had um, leftover green beans, leftover peas. Oh, can um, you tell them about the video I saw with the cranberry sauce with the ice cube maker? Please. So this might be interesting for Pilar and those of you that have smoothies, um, as you do, because when you talk about something, it magically appears on your phone. So um, cranberry sauce appeared in my timeline, and I saw this lady scooping it into an ice cube maker. She froze it, and then she added two of them or three of them, whatever, to smoothie with other stuff like cream and, and other juice and blended it up and made a smoothie with that cranberry sauce. And I thought, okay, well, there's a, an interesting use. I've never seen anyone do that. So mm -hmm. I thought I would let you know. And, That's and interesting. Tell Maybe you can try yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, January is coming up and January is usually when you can get your best prices on appliances. So, uh, we always have pushed at having an extra freezer, not so much an extra fridge, but I do find the extra freezer really helps mm -hmm. us. And we literally shop out of our freezer. Yeah. And remember if you're going to be freezing a lot of stuff, you can't leave it in there for much more than three or four months. So yeah. make sure that you're, that you're rotating, rotating it through. Yeah. yeah. And we found a door a freezer with a door was much easier than the chest. Because the chest freezer, you need oh, to God. really dig down. How many down. times I saw her little legs up in the air <laughs> trying to reach something in the bottom. And one time, um, we saw at Target a mini freezer. 
you don't often see those yeah. but you know january is the best time to uh buy an appliance and so freezers are awesome yep. so um okay so today we're going to talk about pot pies there's two ways to make a pot pie there's a nice and relaxing cooking from scratch but there's also a quick and easy version. I mean, it takes just minutes and there's no judging here. No judging at all. Um, so this is the meditative version where you're chopping, <laughs> you're consuming some time, which is an activity that actually reduces your stress yeah. levels. Uh, unless you're chopping onions because yesterday when she was chopping that onion, she was crying and Stop. I thought something was wrong. <laughs> and you know, um, and no judging here, no judgment here. You want to make a chicken pot pie or a turkey pot pie from your cabinet, do it. I remember I told Travis, so I was on a meal train and you guys know meal trains are when you, you take dinner to the entire family. And whenever I would be on a meal train for somebody who just had a baby or whose family was, uh, somebody in the family was ill, I would always take two pot pies, one to eat that day and one to put in your freezer. And I was a working mom, and I remember telling somebody, you know, she said, wow, you made a pot pie. I go, it's pretty easy. You know, I use canned soup, and I use canned veggies. And she said, well, if you're going to make a pot pie, why don't you make it um, from scratch and be nice about it? And I'm like, yeah, why wouldn't, why wouldn't you give her something made from scratch? And you're like, bitch, please. I'm, I know. I'm please. like, what did you give her? <laughs> yeah. Nothing. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. What did you so, make? Yeah, what did you make? So anyways, no judgment here except for that broad. But, um... Broad. Are yeah. Are bringing that term back? Yeah. Let's do it. I like okay. it. Let's bring back broad and booze and, uh... I don't know if I want to bring back booze just yeah. yet. Maybe a, bo a bottle of wine. <laughs> I just meant the phrase booze. Scotch, Remember when Pilar was little wine. and she was talking about booze? And we're like, what four-year-old knows how to talk about I booze? I was ahead of my time. Well, you were a green room baby. Green rooms, yeah. yeah. So, um, so anyways, hi, Debbie. Joining you on, on my break. Great. Thank you. You just caught us. So there's two ways to make a pot pie. You can make it with your, um, you can use leftovers in either one. And I did the convenient one first. And I did it this morning. And we're going to show a video of that. Yes, right? we are. So um, this is a quick and easy way to do it. I'm going to post this video on our social media after. So it'll be on Instagram and I'll probably upload it to YouTube as well. So let's go ahead and show this. It's about a, a minute, 20 seconds. So here we go. Two cups of chopped turkey. One can drained mixed vegetables. One can of cream of chicken and mushroom soup. One half of a soup can of whole milk or half and half if you have it. One quarter teaspoon each of kosher salt and black pepper. Two shakes of onion powder and garlic powder. A little kiss of thyme leaves. Another little kiss of parsley. Your favorite pie plate or a tin from your favorite previous pie. Pam. Prepared pie crust. Lay it in with a little help from my friends. Fork. Thank you. Filling. I don't do anything fancy. I kind of keep mine nice and rustic. Egg wash. Let's poke some holes in there so some steam can escape. Handy dandy pie crust shield to prevent spills and burnt crust. Put it in a 350 degree preheated oven for about 50 minutes and check for doneness. That was the easy one. So, so the easy. the very easy version. Right. And always have some pie crust in your fridge um, or you can store it in your freezer. Pie crust, pastry puff, um, even canned biscuits. There's all kinds of ways to make a crust other than make from scratch. That's one thing I haven't mastered. If you know how to make one, oh my gosh, send me a video and on how to make some great pie crust. I know it has a something to do with temperature. Yeah. So um, anyways, that's the quick and easy version. I always keep on hand pie crust. I get the cream of chicken and um, mushroom soup when I can find it. Um, not all stores carry it. When I find it, I grab a couple cans. So I always have 
some, I always have whole milk like this size in my fridge for cooking. I always have a couple cans of that creamed chicken and mushroom soup. And I always have a couple cans of the mush of the um, vegetables, mixed vegetables, because it comes in handy to make a pie. We went to Smart and Final yesterday to go buy some things. And you know, they had their roasted chickens, which are beautiful. They're beautiful. And I guess they expected a lot of people. They didn't, nobody knows how to gauge how to stock up their store right now. Mm. And so they had these chickens on sale for $2.50. $2.50. So that sucker is going to become some stoop, which is a cross between a stew and a soup. Stew and a soup. And uh, maybe some chicken tacos. Chicken so, soup without the soup? Chicken, <gasps> chicken soup without the soup. Have you guys ever had Debbie's chicken soup without the it soup? It is great. That's probably what we're going to do. Okay, let's, All right, let's so get here we go. on this, baby. All right, so Fabian says, I lo we love rustic, right? I just love when something looks rustic and beautiful. So back on our sizzle cam back there, mm -hmm. we have a pan and it should have some butter. Go it's look at some butter. Did yep. the butter fairy leave it? Yes. All right. Do we need to turn this on? Yeah, that would help. Yeah, well. In here, here, I've got onions. I've got onions, on, garlic, go. celery, carrots. Guess what? You can buy this pre-chopped. You can buy it pre-chopped. And trust oh, me, garlic right on as, the top there. as I'm sitting there chopping onions going, I, I could have bought this pre-chopped. And this time of year, they do have onions and celery and carrots. They have that mix. Sometimes it's even called stuffing mix. Yeah. Travis, I'm going to have you go ahead and, um, and, um, saute those veggies. Okay, so I'm going to throw this in. And while you're over there, maybe take a peek at our little pie and see how it's doing. Yeah. So I'm actually going to wait for just a moment while this butter, um, can you hand me a knife in the meantime? Yep. So tell us how your Thanksgiving went, you guys. Um, Loretta dropped a beautiful picture to me about her turkey. She said she made the Ina Garten turkey. And it was so easy, right, Loretta? So easy, so flavorful. Remember, cook it upside down. Because I know everybody's looking for that beautiful presentation. But really what you want is that nice, moist breast. And we shared our turkey with a family down the street. And they shared some dessert and some sides. It was perfect, really. And so he wrote and said, wow, you know, I, I haven't had turkey breasts like this that was so moist. And that, again, was from turning it upside down and cooking it breast down. So um, maybe you guys could let us know what uh, how your Thanksgiving went. How did the social distancing go with your Thanksgiving? I know for us when we shared, it really was just a drop off. It was meeting somebody at their door Pilar drove me. She was the getaway driver. And um, we just had bags and handed them out the window and took what was uh, given to us. So that's how we did it. Debbie Gross said, quiet, just the two of us. And Debbie, first of all, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you and your roommate, um, her, her twin. Um, her twin, Don. Debbie went, think. Debbie Grow went from, I believe... A household of 35? What? At Thanksgiving. Oh, at Thanksgiving. To two people. I was like, she grew up with 35 siblings? Good Catholics. <laughs> All right, so uh, Rhea made delicious Thanksgiving feast for two. Uh, that was actually very cool to join you guys. I know you were already finished, but you were having pie while we yeah. were eating dinner. We did a Zoom call where they set it up, and Travis was so cute because we were trying to arrange it when we were all done eating. It didn't happen. Why was that cute? Because you set it up for us so that it actually looked like they were oh, sitting yeah. at our table and they were eating their pie and we were eating food. Go ahead. Was, you were cute. Keep cute. reading. Keep reading. Um, yes. So I uh, couldn't see my sister and nieces, but my rents and like three other family members had a nice quiet dinner. Good. That's very cool. Yeah. Cindy and uh, Mike Bilbrey. Nice and quiet. Stuffed pork chops. Oh. Cheesy carrots. Get Cheesy carrots right called now. copper pennies. Get over here right now, Michael. That looks like a like it would be a beautiful dinner. Look at those colors. Stuffed pork chops, cheesy carrots called copper pennies, and sweet potato casserole. I'm not even cheesy joking. Cheesy carrots? Oh, Debbie said 45 Mike, people. Come make me that. Oh, that sounds beautiful, Mike. I hope you took some pictures. I'm chopping and trying well, to I'll read. take photos. Just come here and I'll take photos. You make it for me. We've, we've had Just the two of us for Thanksgiving, Scott and Fabian, and then Eva cooking... The turkey breast down worked out 
really well. She said it worked out well. Yeah. Breast meat was moist and tender. Thank you. Yes, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And like I said, I know everybody's looking for that big, you know, Norman Rockwell presentation. But trust me, I have worked on TV shows before, and those turkeys aren't edible. They are sprayed with so much shellac. Well, and, not uh, only that, but when you've got a dry turkey breast, if you slice it thin enough to put on a sandwich, you don't want that dry competing with the dry bread. So the more moist the, the uh, turkey breast is, the better the sandwich is going to be. And of course, I don't know anyone that likes a, a dry turkey breast. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing here is chopping up a couple of peeled potatoes. I'm just dicing them, and I'm eyeballing stuff like this. Again, these kinds of... Um, pot pies, you eyeball things, you know? Um, let's see, uh, Eva, small gathering. Everybody had small, everybody yeah. should have had small gatherings. And if you didn't. Shame on you. Um, Debbie Wheatley said, just me and my boys, very quiet. So I don't know how old your boys are, but feeding boys, you might as well add like. Yeah, another, times two. Times each, two. Each person each boy, the yeah. equivalent of two right. in loudness and food eating. And so Travis is back there sauteing some um, some in real butter. In real butter, he's sauteing the onions, the garlic, the carrots, and the celery. Yeah, it's like two again. to three ribs of celery, two to three carrots. Again, eyeball it. Uh, a small onion, small medium-sized onion, yep. and I just used a brown onion, not a sweet onion, and some two cloves of garlic. So he did that. Now, do you want these to get soft, the carrots? Yeah, are they soft? Not yet. Not yet? Not even close, baby. Not even close, so we're going to be doing that. Can you check? 31 and 26 are her boys. So they, that was a nice thing. It's, it's, getting, it's getting brown on the top. A little bit more? Yeah, okay. a little more on the top. All right. So as he's sauteing that, I've diced up these uh, potatoes, so that's going to go in there. How do you want me to Where hand these go? to you? Into, it will go into the... Uh-huh. Okay. Let's put it on a... Just scoop it onto a plate... Why dirty a plate? I have an idea. I have an idea. So we've got about two cups of chopped turkey. I'm going to put that right in my bowl, ready to go. <laughs> so I'm going to give him my diced potato. This looks like a good sized potato. There you go. Regular russet potato. So put those in there. Okay, good we'll kiss. We're going to do it like that. Yep. We're gonna put in a half a teaspoon of salt and about a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Go ahead and put that in there. All right, here, I'm gonna do this. So what do you think? You guys are gonna make the the cutting corners pot pie? Because that really is easy. Or are you gonna do the uh, this one that's all from scratch? Well, I guess it, it would depend on if they've got time and also if they feel like cooking. They have Sometimes Debbie time. says, I feel like cooking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, was that a joke? You held up the time? Mm -hmm. Hilarious. You should be a comedian. I wonder if Ian Bag would do that joke. You're still my favorite comedian, Mom. Thank you, baby. <laughs> All right. Um, so he's got those vegetables cooking. We've got carrot, celery, onion, garlic, and he threw in some potato. Well, I pulled from the Thanksgiving table. There was like um, some green beans, uh, like yeah. just enough for like one serving. And the same thing with peas. We're going to throw that in there too. Well, show it on the camera. Baby. Sure. It's just a serving. Maybe you served corn and you have like a quarter cup. That's the beautiful thing about pot pies and soups and salads. Save these little servings. These green beans could go on a salad. Um, oh, Debbie says from scratch. So yeah. both of these are going in there. Yeah. Okay. Well, how are the, is everything cooked yet? No, it's not really. I okay. think you can feel, you can feel the carrots with the uh, spatula a little. And I can tell that it's not really that soft. Okay, well, we're going to let that soften up. Can I ask you a question? You can. And I, and don't say I never pay attention, but I don't remember ever having potatoes inside of, why, why do I not remember potatoes inside the pot pie? I don't know. I make them with pot pie. It reminds me of that time when Pilar was woofing down these raviolis. <laughs> and I go, Pilar, stop. Enjoy the cheese. And she looked at me with like 10 raviolis in her mouth. She goes, there's cheese in this? Yeah. 
Well, if, uh, if you go back to the video and look at the mixed vegetables, I get the kind with the corn, the lima beans, the potatoes, oh, yeah. okay. the carrots. Yeah, the yeah. tiny little chunks. Okay. Yeah, so they're tiny. Seriously, that pantry pull is the best and the easiest. Maybe I'm just happy to be eating a pot pie. That could be that it. I don't even realize what's in there. That could be it. So come on, people, tell us what, what else you're cooking for your leftovers. Anybody making turkey tetrazzini? What? Um, how about sandwiches? Do you do a hot sandwich or a cold sandwich? Some people like to do the hot sandwich open face with the gravy and the mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Is that what you did with yours? Yeah, I yeah. hollow out the bread and fill it with stuffing and potatoes and then put the turkey like that. And she hollows out the bread. Did you hear that? To make room for the, uh, <laughs> all the other stuff. So, how you doing over there? Good. Adding the green beans. Okay. Just going to give them a stir and then sure. I'll add the peas. Yeah, put in the peas. Man, our audience is super quiet today. Well, it's Sunday. None of them have had coffee like near you. <laughs> Mike, what what's how, what kind of cheese is in those carrots? I would love to know what kind of cheese is in those carrots. And I would love for you to come make me those pork chops. Have I said that yet today? Yeah. Debbie said turkey avocado on sourdough. Pilar, turkey. Turkey avocado on sourdough. I want to make these comments with you. <laughs> um, oh, Eva said she made turkey salad sandwiches. Turkey salad sandwiches? Ooh. Yeah, that sounds good, huh? Mm. Yeah. So how are you doing over there, Trav? Good. They're getting nice and mixed up. They're okay. starting to soften up. You don't uh, need them all the way soft because they're going to No, because we're right? going to, yeah. Now we want to sprinkle on some flour on top. <laughs> so we're putting like a quarter cup of flour, just sprinkle it on top. Thank you me. guys are keeping me from shopping. Um, we had a great, we had gravy. Okay, let me make these in, in order. Go ahead, Paul. So I'm Fabian said, we had gravy with a hint of turkey. Just mix. Huh. Like the, the thick gravy? Or is it just you love yourself some gravy and you're like, oh, I should probably have some turkey with this gravy. You should do a fountain next year. <gasps> oh, a fondue. gravy like a fountain. fountain. A gravy oh, fountain. No. no, like fondue and then you just kind of dip it in barely. Yes. Yeah. Get so skewers of like We're saying drink. fondue or a fountain for your gravy. Um, hi, Martha. Welcome. Hey, um, you? you guys are keeping me from shopping, Debbie Grow says. Oh, yeah. Today is that weekend that you do that. Oh, oh you're welcome then. <laughs> yeah, we're helping you save that money. Okay. We're going to go solo here. Okay, you need to go down. Velveeta. Velveeta on what? the carrots. On the carrots. For the, what are they called? The uh, copper, copper pennies. Penny carrots. That sounds, Mike is a chef and he had a bread and breakfast for years and he used to uh, cook for weddings. I yeah. still think so, about that French toast that he made. Stuffed me. French toast. Oh my gosh. I Gravy Fountain is genius. Gravy is a food group here. Oh my gosh. I know if they pierced my ears, their gravy would come out. Okay, babe. What am yeah. I doing here? Because this so, is hot. Okay. Let's bring it over here and add it to this turkey. Okay. Pilar, can you look and see if I have pie crust? I should. This is going to be a big... Yeah. I, that's a lot of food right there. We might have enough here to make two pot pies. How do you guys feel about that? How do I feel about it? I like yeah. that because then we I can take some home. Have, has, has she met us yet? I don't think so. Have, how do we like it? How do we, girl? Say what? Can I have my scissors for cooking? So all we're doing is we're adding that mixture, mixture. right in. Okay, fold. You want to fold. fold. Yeah. So you okay. just want to fold. Um, the kitchen scissors are in the... Mm. Are they up here now? This smells so good. So at yeah. any time you saute anything in butter, of course, ah. uh, onions and garlic and the carrots and celery. And I'm bringing in a little bit of thyme. Sing it, Travis. Take your time. If we could turn Excuse me? That one? A little bit of parsley. I'm so not confident. Remember, on your pantry pull, Share just pull your onion powder, garlic powder, dried parsley, it's and dried sure. thyme. Um, because that was horrible. because um, fresh herbs can be really hard to just keep fresh all the time. Um, Debbie said we're keeping her from shopping. I swear it's so easy now with Amazon. What did we do before Amazon? Yeah. Um, we uh, went. We actually went to the mall. <laughs> Uh, my cousin Peggy is an Avon lady, and I did some of my Christmas shopping through her, and it's so nice. She does contactless 
delivery. And she will be on the podcast in January to talk about taking care of your winter skin and getting your regimen all put together. So we're just putting a little parsley in there. So um, Debbie says, time is, is on, on my, my side. side. I'm going to yes, pour a, a little milk here. Ooh. Go ahead, do it. Okay. I left my milk out a little bit so it doesn't curdle. Oh, you because can, it's hot. Yeah, you can use evaporated milk. You can use half and half. So it'll curdle if you bring it out of the fridge and put it in hot stuff? Yeah. Yeah, this is really hot. It's starting to cool off because the turkey was cool, but yeah. that's starting to look really nice and folded in there. Let me show the people on the cam. Sure. We're going to go like this, you guys. So you can see everything is folded in together. We're going to make it creamy, so just keep adding your milk, your evaporated milk, or your half and half. Just keep adding until you get the creamy consistency. Oh, the creaminess like right. on that soup that you put in there. Right. About that creaminess. Okay. Yeah. And I'm just using whole milk. There we go. So really, except for the pie crust, this is all like leftovers and pantry pull. Mm-hmm. So the cost is really minimal to do these pot mm. pies. Yeah. And it's a real fun treat, especially if you give them away, like Deb usually gives them away. I do. I save my pies from, my, my pie tins from like Marie Callender's or, you know, if I bake a frozen pie. Um, uh, you know, I did not do big desserts. We, we let Sarah Lee bake our pies. Yeah, and one time we were eating pies. We were somewhere and we were having pie. And someone said, Pilar, what's your favorite pie? And Pilar, you said... Is this just roast Pilar the episode? Yes. Yeah. What did you say? Chicken pot. My favorite pie is chicken pot. Okay. You can stop now. She said, God damn. <laughs> All right. You want to taste this? Yeah. I'll give you a perfect taste. She there. asked me if I wanted to. No, taste. no, no. Come on, baby bird. <laughs> what does it need? Let me get a taste. A little bit of salt. Okay. Now, on the other one, you use kosher salt. Yes. So, I used kosher salt inside this one, but I'm going to put something different on the top. Mm -hmm. Need salt? Mm -hmm. Got to salt that. Yeah, not in my There box. you go. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Does it need more something to make it creamy? Because I do have chicken broth to make it a little more creamy, but I think it looks fine. No, I think it's creamy enough. Okay. And when you bake it, it's going to mm -hmm. be nice. Yeah. And, uh, Okay. All this is oh, just going to Debbie says, got to go. Bye, Debbie. Bye, Debbie. We love you. She said her day was Bye, made. Deb. For those who can't do dairy, coconut cream would be really good. Yes, we bought coconut cream mm. uh, for cereal, and it was good. But you got to eat it fast. It doesn't have that shelf life yeah. like... Not like almond milk. Like almond milk. I prefer almond milk. milk over whole. Yeah, I haven't done oat. But like our oat. guest that's coming on, Izzy Garrett, Brad Garrett's wife, she cooks a lot with oat milk. So uh, be sure that you prep some questions for her. How's our pie going I'm on? I'm about to it? pull it out, I think. Now, okay. pie crust. I do I do this kind of pie crust. Sometimes I do the deep dish from Recalendars that, or from the regular store, the deep dish frozen. And the way you do those, you'll have two inside one tin, and you fill up your bottom tin. So you, you, know, you get it like this and you, your pie crust is already in there, you fill it up, then you get the other pie crust and you can turn it over if you have a really lot in your pie or you can place it bottom side down on top so it covers that pie perfectly. Crazy. Yeah, let's let it sit up there for a little bit. So I need your help over here, my love. All right. Oh my God, that smells so good. Does it? We have new messages there. Yeah, that smells so good. It's so nice of Debbie to share her, her uh, time off at work with us. I used to use almond milk, but you got to be careful. <laughs> yeah, it's not sweetened or vanilla. Of course you do. Yeah, yeah. So like I said, Izzy's going to be on, uh, on our show in December. And so get together your questions for her regarding, um, what, you know, the different milks, the non-dairy. I'm just, I sprayed this with Pam, and now I'm just putting my crust at the bottom and giving it a couple picks, picks like that. Okay, and now we're going to put this in here. Yeah, there's Maybe definitely going to be it. enough for, for here. I'm going to hold it like this. Well, thank goodness I have another pie crust. Yes, thanks, Thanksgiving goodness that you have a pie crust. Or I can do some minis. Oh, yeah, Denise likes your minis. Denise likes the minis. So Caitlin says, Kim's GF, so I always make the crust the hard part. 
Okay. Is it will never roll out, but if you press like play dough to make the crust, it will come out flaky and yeah. amazing. You can get coconut. Did you read that already? That no, I there. didn't, but I agree with her. Okay. That's why I'm shaking my head. You can get coconut milk at the doll hair store. What? Whoa. I used to use almond milk, but you be careful. Yeah, I yeah. like the sweetened or vanilla unsweetened is okay. Yeah, BG, these are Pillsbury pie crusts. Also, you can get Signature brand, you know, which is the Vons brand. And it's two pie crusts in one. So easy. It's just really easy. I'm not going to make pie crust from scratch. I'm just not going to do it. Why do you prick the bottom crust when you're putting filling in it? Um, Martha, I read that on a uh, blog that I was searching. And for some reason, they said to put, and it made sense at the time when I read it, because I never have. But I thought, what the heck, let's see. So, I mean, not enough where something's going to fall out. So, where do you get the roll of pie crust? My son and I made an apple pie using the frozen pie crust, and we're surprised how good it is. Yeah, they're expert. Pillsbury's been making pie crust for a million yeah. years. Why, why, why not? reinvent the wheel? Yeah. And, Martha, I am going to pierce the top because I know that that lets the steam out. And um, But I did see a couple posts, and it was very interesting about how they were doing Um they pierce the bottom. I don't think it's going to hurt anything. So So what if you don't have an extra pie crust on hand and you make too much? Can you store this? You can store this until you can get to the store and you can get some biscuits. Can you freeze it? I don't see why not. Well, yeah, why yeah. not? Yeah. So um, there's a lot left. There's a lot left. Yeah, that, there's, so there's almost half. I half happen to have door. another pie crust in the refrigerator, so that'll be okay. But if I don't... You can whip up drop biscuits from Bisquick. You can get a can of biscuits. You can use flaky, um, the the flaky pastry. BG, you cook with the flaky pastry a lot. What you do is you just put the fake flaky pastry on top. So you grease the hell out of your pie pan. You put in your stuffing or your you know your filling, and then you just layer your your um, pastry, your puff pastry on top, and it comes out beautiful. It's a one crust pie. My dad used to make top holes. Something fun like a smile. Oh, and Anna Marie says you poke the bottom so the crust, crust doesn't bubble up and break. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Martha says it doesn't make sense on the bottom, but look at Anna Maria came to my aid there, she said. Mm -hmm. um, so the crust doesn't bubble up and break. So in homage of Anna Maria, why don't we poke some holes in this one in the shape of a, a smile? Absolutely. Yeah. Do you want to do that? Yes, I do. Give me this. Um, should I wash it first? Oh, okay, I guess not. Egg wash. That's a lot of holes. <laughs> That's okay. It's a big old smile. And we're going to do smiling eyes. Oh, smiling eyes. <laughs> Here, now let's show, show the people on that one. I think it needs a nose so that steam can escape from that part. Can you see, Rhea? That's for you, honey. That's for you. <laughs> all right. I've got a little egg wash here. All oh, a nose? we got a nose. Yep. Yeah. Boom. Um, now, what do you got? Your egg, egg wash. wash? All egg wash is is just a beaten egg with a little bit of uh, bottled water if you have it. And I'm just going to wash it here. Going to wash that little smile. Oh, that is so precious. Um, I am using a crust saver. We're going to take it off one pie and put it on the other. So I've got my... Ooh, that's a lot of egg wash. Well, you want it to be brown. Yes, I do. But not the crust. You don't want the crust to burn. The crust can burn because it sits a little higher there. All right. And then the kind of salt I'm going to use for this is a sea salt, but it's a flake. So you use it on, I think I've shown this before. This is a salt you want to put on if you're presenting like a beautiful salad uh, or a beautiful cookie. I know when we went to Brad's house for dinner, Izzy made... Um, cookies and then she put this beautiful flaky salt on the top of a chocolate chip cookie it was beautiful mm. so anyway so, what were you saying baby if they are vegan or they don't have eggs on hand because when i made your little pot pies i didn't have eggs you can use honey or vegetable or olive oil and brush it on top oh that's a good good point good thank point. you eva my creation was great she said it was great so i've got a little bit of that pretty flaky salt and we're going to put the pie crust cover on there. Just trade it off. And you want to show the people as it goes in the oven? That's hot. Use it. So you guys would be happy to know that our neighbor who is a nurse, 
she had to work on Thanksgiving and when Travis ran into her he said hey how's it going at work and she said busy so busy means people aren't taking good care of themselves so let's take good care of each other and ourselves you know um, so now show this. This yeah. is the one that Whoa. we. <laughs> this is the one that we sh that we made earlier on that quick video, you mm -hmm. guys. You can see how it's nice and and brown. Mm -hmm. And so I assume that we are going to. Oh, son of a bitch. Is it too hot to cut? No, but the. The thing about thing pot is, pies is they need to sit and rest for a while. How long? You want to make this a complete meal? You can serve it with a salad. So again, being diabetic. This is not the best choice for me. I'd probably get a, like a little piece, like a 16th of this pie, and then fill up with uh, a big salad or vegetables that I like. And my family would probably have this with... The rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I'm happy that she takes only a 16th <laughs> because I will have the rest of that. Yeah, and I, like I said, these make great gifts. These are wonderful to come up to somebody's house if they're not feeling well if they just had a baby if there's been some you know surgery or maybe they're just done cooking and you want to share a pie with them so um we're gonna again it might be a little too hot so yeah see. probably will be too hot it's a little too hot so i'm gonna cut just a little teeny piece so i can show the people just the, like that big yeah i think the important thing is that the um Oh my God, look at how steamy that is. Yeah, now. Is that you know you have the ingredients right. And we tasted the ingredients from the other. I do want to taste this. What was on this besides poking holes? I did pilar. No, you put pilars in the fridge. Yeah. In the in sink. sink. Sorry, I'm having senior day, you guys. We need more coffee. We need more coffee. Okay. Is there a barista in the house? Yes, it's weird, it's weird how time? someone slowly starts to come around the corner. You're not getting the first bite of this one. I need to try this with the soup. This had the soup and... This was the cream of mushroom soup. And like I said, if you can find the cream of chicken and mushroom, grab it. Just the cream of celery or just the cream of mm. chicken or just the cream of mushroom. Sometimes, you know, I don't know. I find that the the that you just get more bang for your buck in that one little can of cream of chicken and mushroom. How is it, guys? That's crazy good. Yeah. Mm. The mushroom yeah. does, for me... It adds that additional flavor, that mm -hmm. cream of um, cream of mushroom soup. Yeah, adds that nice texture inside, and and the everything was cooked so perfectly. I look forward to that one too, and I'll compare the, the two. <laughs> it is really good comfort food because it's like warm, it's light, it's very uh, rich, and they they freeze beautifully. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, if you plan on giving one away, make sure you make it in a tin that you you know like a Marie Callender's tin. You can do that. And um, but it yeah, just, just makes... wash those gently and you can reuse them. Do not yeah, don't put, put them in, in the dishwasher. The dishwasher yeah. yeah. Um, so this came out beautiful. It's a great way to use your turkey. And we didn't have that much leftover turkey. As you can see, we really built it up with the yeah. veggies there. Yeah. Yeah. So Especially Pilar burnt her mouth, didn't she? Your Uncle Fabian wants to know. Yep. Uh, I'm still burning my mouth. She okay. said she's still burning her mouth, Uncle Fabian. She's over um, there. Pour Tender some milk. leftover gravy on it. Oh my <laughs> God, Debbie. Why aren't you cooking like the pioneer woman on TV with these ideas? Right. Right? Pour gravy on it. Yeah, if you have some turkey gravy, that would be lovely. So what we made today, and what I'll be making after the show as well, considering I have all that filling, is an additional pie. Or I might uh, make some mini pies. Um, because I have the little mini things and maybe I'll make some of those because I know my niece and my daughter, they both like coming home from work and just putting those little ones in the toaster oven and it's ready to go. So um, anyways, that's what's for dinner. Um, thank you. Happy Sunday to you too, Eva. Please don't, oh, please don't forget to join us on Tuesday with Ian Bag. Yes, um, my favorite comedian. Start looking for him on social media and look at some of his videos. You've probably heard him before, um, but he's wonderful. And then um, the Tuesday after that, we're going to have the Garretts, Brad Garrett and Izzy Garrett. Brad, you know from... Everybody Loves Raymond and uh, Single Parents. And of course, he's 
one of our best friends in the world, and his wife is a phenomenal cook. So and an she's amazing gonna, person. And an amazing person. So she's going to share those ideas with us. And um, we're going to start Christmas 101 with cookies. We're going to start getting that done. So if you're at the store, grab your flour, your sugar, your brown sugar, real butter. Um, and I asked Izzy to help me out with a sugar-free cookie, so we'll see what happens. We love you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. I love that you always talk about sharing your food with others. Yeah, Loretta, I live for that. That's my wheelhouse. <laughs> I love that. And you know what happens is we open our door and there's like a box of lemons or... Um, we live in a community that does that. It's really not yeah. just us. Right, yeah. Or, you know, hey, Flora made lemon cake. We have extra. Or BG's like, hey, want some macaroni and cheese? Or, or breakfast. Or breakfast. breakfast yeah. So anyway, yeah. I make fudge. Bring me some. <laughs> Debbie, I already have your grandma's recipe for ranch dressing. If you would love to either make us a video and send it of how you make your fudge, we would love to showcase it and um, would love that. Debbie Gross says, back to shopping. Go back to shopping, Debbie. You know what's a good gift? A good vegetable peeler. I you know what else mine. is a good gift? Your fudge. <laughs> Thank you. Debbie, back to shopping. Don't forget Cyber Sunday is Monday. And if you can help support a small business like Fadi's, if you can support a small business, uh, please do. There's lots of them that are facing, um, you know, this is going to be their last day open and we're closing down for three weeks. So if you can um, help out a small business. So anyway, um, oh, oh my God, the Townsend shared their Thanksgiving feast with us. It made our Thanksgiving. And you shared macaroni and cheese made yeah. from scratch and beautiful pastries made with puff so pastries. Good. And BG, I was able to eat one. Everybody was diving into pie and ice cream and I had one of the pastries. And again, my sugar was pretty good. So it's kind of cool to find little treats like that that I can have that don't make my sugar go haywire. So, oh, Debbie Grow wants to know nuts or no nuts? Sure. He said yes. <laughs> she's awesome all right um cindy it was great seeing you guys everybody thank you so much we love you so much go back and look at our some of our past episodes um and see how some of our friends celebrated thanksgiving on last tuesday's podcast we love you so much you guys you make this you make this you make this awful pandemic and being at home, you make it, you make it like we have friends right at our table. So thank you so much. Bye bye. You okay. Mm -hmm. I got emotional. Let's turn to this pie. Do it. Um, I brought the plate back. Oh, thanks. It's in.